Hello everyone, Deb Floros, guest designer for Beta Hall League. I love Zola elements. Their components are so much fun to work with. I grabbed this brassy, almost smile looking pendant piece and two half moon uh, acetate pieces. And I think that pendant is crying out for some of these bar drops to hang from them. I decided to pick out some contrasting chain because I do love the look of mixed metals. And I think this is what the necklace is going to look like. Now, the key to this is some really big jump rings. So these are raw brass eight millimeter jump rings in 18 gauge, and they're going to be nice, solid, secure attachments for the little bars onto that pendant piece and also to connect the half circle, half um, moon pieces to the large component. And those little bars are just going to hang and dangle. They're so fun, lots of great movement. And I love the color of these with this brass. So as I said, the large jump rings are going to be a great way to attach those acetate pieces on either side of that big pendant in the center. And they're gonna tie back to those dangles beautifully. They're all the same color. Really, really fun. And the acetate pieces are nice and lightweight. So you're not gonna have a big heavy necklace here. So I've got one piece on, I'm going to attach my other. And oh my gosh, this is such an easy, fun project. I think you'll really enjoy making this. Now the next step is for us to attach our chain. And what I need to do first is measure out the length that I want. So I'm going to figure out where I want my pendant section to hang from. Then I'm going to use a beading awl and get the two ends and sort of figure out where this needs to go. So I pull my wire down and then I separate it out kind of situate it and pull my pendant piece up to figure out which links I'm going to attach to. And I'm going to use those big jump rings again. The big jump rings are really key to making all of the attachment points here. So I'm attaching one side, then I'm gonna pull my chain back down. This is a little bit fiddly, but take your time, you'll get it just right. And you can always take the jump ring off and readjust to a different length if you like. I wanted my chain to hang a little bit down in that focal section um, just to add a little bit of interest. I'm going to use one of the big jump rings to attach a lobster claw to one side and now my necklace is actually adjustable because that lobster claw will go to, into any one of those lengths. You can find everything to make this fun, fun, fun necklace at beataholic.com. I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks so much for watching.